here with my partner Bethany. We're at the World Urban Games in Budapest, Hungary in the Great Hall. What a day it has been. We just finished the freestyle finals and it was amazing. So there are a few teams that we want to highlight. The first one that I want to call out is a fifth place team representing Poland. Kuba Radbanski and Marisa Kajewska. And they, uh, they were a seed bus team throughout the entire event. They weren't slated to make it out of the prelims, and yet they made it to the semifinals, and then they even seed busted in the finals. And just watching them play, you would have no idea that this team has the least number of years consecutively competing as a team. So uh, just very standout performance from them. They played great. We were really excited about them. The third place team making the podium were Maxine Mittenberger and Edo Turi from Italy. Those two were very smooth, their co-ops were very intricate, and uh, we were really impressed by how easy they made the competition look, and it was great. Definitely. Coming in second place, Juliana Korver and Ryan Young representing the USA. Their play was very technical. Everything they did, they brought to the next level. twist o flex spinning in both directions, it was very impressive. Absolutely. And in first place, taking the gold, were Daniel O'Neill and Emma Kale, both from the United States. They did their thriller routine. Um, they, they used the, the dr drama and their technical ability. They're flying through the air, um, taking up, you know, using the entire field, using different modes of play to um, just totally keep it exciting. It was a very energetic routine, and in the end, it was the winner. We've had a really good time here this weekend, and I just want to say thank you very much to the Hungarian Flying Disc team, and also to Geisif for including Flying Disc at this event. It's been really great. Absolutely. WIFDIF has been amazing in connecting us with all of this, and uh, we're really just excited about um, having had the opportunity to spread the jam to the world. And next up, we've got the world, the FPA World Championships in Seattle at the, in the middle of October. So there you go. That concludes our experience at the World Urban Games.